duty calls, and pit answers. We need to refocus our efforts on Medusa. So today's target is Tanatos, god of death. Tanatos? You mean the Tanatos? Wait, who's Tanatos again? Back in the 80s, Tanatos took the form of a snake on Medusa's head. He's quite the chameleon, you see, and that was his look back then. Great fashion sense. But his god of death? He must be a big deal in the underworld arm. He possesses a key to the underworld, and he's leading Medusa's invasion of the sea. So I'll be fighting his forces in the sea? How am I supposed to do that? Just use your gills. Tell me, Pit, how are you with branchial respiration? Oh, no worries. I'm minor in branchial respiration. Wait, you're crazy. Okay, just hold your breath down for about two hours. I said you're crazy? I smell the ocean. We're heading to Tanatos' base, the Seafloor Palace. You were kidding about holding my breath, right? Watch and learn, pupil. Witness the true power of the Goddess of Light. Ready, set, dump da da da! Whoa! You've outdone yourself, Lady Palutena! Next stop, the Seafloor Palace. This is just one more bullet point on your already impressive resume. <laughs> what can I say? I'm an overachiever. Oh, now. Just one second there, lassie. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Lord decided! This is Palutena. Lies don't become a lady. I'm sorry. You did not become a lady. So that sea parting business was... Was obviously mine. You pull off an attack on the Seafloor Palace. I went to see God himself. It all makes sense. I wouldn't allow anyone else to find mine. In fact, I've had the mind to put it back together. No! Please don't do that! We're going deeper now. You should know you have my full support. Much obliged, Lord Sasaki. It was bad enough when the dark forces were contained in the underworld, but extending their reach to the sea and land is completely unacceptable. As the goddess of light, it falls on you to destroy them. I have faith that you will. You have my word. Uh, and mine too! I guess this used to be a city? Yes, but I sunk it long ago. Sunk it? That's a bit... extreme. Humans consist of equal parts hubris, envy, and deceit. Sometimes one has to put them in their place. This coral is so beautiful. True, but don't forget the old saying that every coral has a storm. I'm pretty sure you're thinking of roses. And I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of coral. We've arrived at the ocean floor. Only a little longer until we reach the palace. From there, we'll defeat Tanatos and take his key to the underworld. Actually, 
Are you my fantasy now? The extra H is for amazing! Have we met before? Oh, I'm wounded! Truly I am. I know it's been a while, but surely you haven't forgotten your beautiful foe. Sorry. There's just so many foes and only one of me. You know we've crushed Medusa's other commander, Thanatos. Just give us the key to the underworld and he won't be forced to harm you. <laughs> Impatient as always, I see. I did you come all this way. Wouldn't you like to stay and catch up for a bit? A oh, pretty thing. So you're not going to give up the key. No need to get all huffy now. I'll let you know that I much prefer honey to vinegar. And I prefer witty repartee to any condiment. This is getting nowhere. Our goal here is to track down Medusa, right? Yes, Thanatos is basically Medusa's right-hand man. That's why he has the only key to the underworld. I have no such thing. None whatsoever. Honestly. Honestly. How did this guy get to be Medusa's second man? He's me. And you already? Hello! He's Okay, if Thanatos won't give up the key, we'll have to take it from him. The longer we wait, the more we have to lose. We need to strike soon. We only have a little way to go, so buckle down. I'm buckled and red. Can you hear me? I'd like to be part of this conversation, please. Shut it already. Me? But you've been talking this whole day. run parallel to each other, so you can switch between them. Stay focused on what's coming up.
to your run-of-the-mill trap door. Shake it off and keep moving. Such exhausting work! Heroes always arrive late on the scene! Thanatos is a skilled chameleon. Don't be surprised if he changes into a spider or scorpion, a cockroach or tick, or a moth or lizard or leech or tapeworm or centipede or bat or snake or... cat? Would a cat be kind of sweet, right? I'm tempted to reach for my book of scary comebacks, but maybe I should just show you. No need to sound so gleeful. Maybe you can get the sword to hit the spears when they're in the ground. Ah. 
Gem pit. This is our key to the underworld. And I just have to hold it? More or less, but first we have to get you geared up for the final battle. <laughs> 